Hey, what's up guys? It's Corey here with Android Community and we are taking a look at Swipe. Yes, they are back. Swipe is finally here. Um, we haven't heard a lot from them as of late. They released a Swipe for Ice Cream Sandwich and basically kind of has uh, disappeared for the most part. It's been a few months since we've heard from them, but today they just launched their brand new beta, the brand new, what they're calling next generation Swipe. What they've done, slightly redesigned the keyboard as you can see. It's got a, a little bit of an improved user interface. Um, the icon and you know, all the buttons seem to be a little bigger. It, you know, looks really good on uh, the Galaxy Nexus here, and uh, looks like it works. Going to be working great on uh, all these high-resolution devices. But what they've done here is added basically all the options, all the keyboards into one. You can swipe, you can type, you can talk, and then you can even use gestures to write on the screen. Which for me was a little difficult. Obviously, something not really uh, going to be used, you know, for Americans, maybe for writing in other languages or Chinese or whatnot, symbols and everything else. But real quickly, I just wanted to show you a, a quick look, just kind of see. Um, here's swipe. Um, they have the dragon dictation takes over the voice, um, you know, option with ice cream sandwich and anything else. I kind of prefer the option for that, but uh, they did add a feature kind of like Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich, where when you use dragon dictation you can have it just listen forever and then you can hit stop when you're ready or it'll recognize that you're done talking and put out all the words for you so you get both options if they're there but I kinda would like the stock ICS um, just because it, it seems to work great for me but real quickly go into swipe and you got the uh, new and improved kinda look here it's sort of ice cream sandwich you know um, outlined with the user interface but not completely so you can swipe, you can speak, you can write, you can tap and uh, here's their full out just guide, which um, I kind of liked the guide before where they would actually show you how to swipe, but uh, a lot of people kind of didn't like going through that. So you can go to learn more for swiping, it tells you about the keyboard and gestures and choosing a word, capitalizing words, automatic spacing, replacing words, all kinds of stuff. You can see all that on screen. It goes through quite a bit of stuff. So and then you can speak and type and all that other junk. So. Then, we go ahead and go back, and go into preferences, go through all the other options, vibrate, auto spacing, pop, pop on, key press, enable handwriting, which I have disabled because the handwriting button appears on the keyboard and actually makes the spacebar extremely small, and then I kept accidentally hitting the dictation button instead, so obviously you're only going to enable that if you need it. Detect end of speech for the dictation, and then the dictionary, they have a lot of stuff in there, and then swipe connect is brand new, very similar to SwiftKey to be honest and it will learn from your Facebook or your Twitter or your Gmail and learn how you type the words you say all that and then the predictive text becomes you know the predictive engine becomes much more uh, you know user friendly so we will quickly go back here and at least just show you the keyboard here we're going to do a quick swipe We're doing a quick test with swipe. Then, obviously, you can just slide like that to do, you know, exclamation point or or question mark. You slide right into the uh, space bar. You can see that all on screen. So, really quickly here again. Let's go back, and now we're going to type. Now, the typing works great. So you can go from swiping to typing really easy, which was kind of not very smooth before if you ask me so the fact that they've added all of that one good thing here too is uh, the predicted text engine is obviously there here's a little tip saying you can swipe to get to uh, punctuation but uh, you go hey and as you start typing there is no way to you can just sit and you know it kind of predict, predicts what you're going to write up there or if you say go to the store tomorrow T-O-M-O and you start writing, it, uh, it'll actually realize what you're about to say. So it's very similar with the predictive text to what we've seen with Ice Cream Sandwich, with, with Swift Key, and everything else. So uh, it's more the fact that it's all in one, one easy, convenient solution. So really quickly here, we're also going to try the dictation. And I've disabled the feature for it to turn off when you're done talking. So dictation with nuance will listen as long as I talk. So. Hey, what's up, guys? This is Corey from Android Community. We are testing Swipe. Hit done. 
Hey, what's up guys? It's Corey from the Anime Community. We are testing Swipe. Interesting enough, it says Swipe with an I. You think it would kind of default to uh, their way of spelling just to be kind of seamless, although it's not correct. But anyways, kind of a funny thing. So there it is, the brand new Swift, uh, the brand new Swipe. Sorry, brand new Swipe here for Android. It's available in beta right now. And uh, go into to their forum, sign up, and get the new beta version of Swipe, and uh, it should be available here shortly in the Android market. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching.